Hi, my name is Madeline Scribner, and my speech is titled, Who Can Go to High School Without Sports? Here's my audience. <laughs> the Florida Constitution states, The education of children is a fundamental value for the people of the state of Florida. It is therefore a paramount duty for the state to make adequate provisions for a uniform, efficient, safe, secure, and high-quality system of free public education that allows students to obtain a high-quality education. Jacksonville, Florida's own Duval County Schools are in jeopardy of violating the Florida Constitution as a result of so many cuts being made with the pending legislation. Duval County Public Schools are facing a possible 75 to 89 million shortfall for the 2012-2013 school year. It is this economic crutch. Many schools are eliminating coaching provisions and training staffs, reducing transportation costs, and asking many parents to take money out of their own pockets. Manhattan Beach, Merida Coast High School, along with many other high schools, are slashing coaching stipends, reducing schedules, cultivating travel, eliminating lower level payoffs, and in increasing student fees because of budget costs or cuts. It is just a bunch of money and stacks going into the education system. But what about the kids? What about the parents? What about the community? Sons, daughters, brothers, sisters are all at risk of being, being short a good education. After budget cuts, the education system will be anything but quality. Having full education, including arts, music, physical education, and sports, is critical to, for students to keep them in school and wanting to learn. All of these activities keep a lot of students in school, out of trouble, and in the books, so that they can participate and keep doing what they love, or playing the sport that they love. Good health is a major issue among teens. teens. Without sports to keep them active, they are at risk for unhealthy lifestyles. Teen depression and obesity are two major issues in the lives of young adults. We all know that high school is a doggy dog world where bu with bullying and labeling. This can be very stressful and overwhelming for some students. In the words of brilliant, brilliant L. Woods, exercise you give, gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people don't shoot their husbands. They just don't. <laughs> <laughs> this being said, staying active will help prevent teen depression and suicide. Taking away sports can only lead to more stress, unhealthier lifestyles, and increase in suicide rates. Sports help to fight the risk of obesity, heart problems, and in many other diseases caused by lack of exercise. No one is willing to take that risk, so solutions by any means are being brought to attention, to attention and considered. Sports are not just a way of life, but a pathway to college for students with athletic scholarships. They teach great lessons that are hard to learn anywhere else other than in a competitive environment. Lessons such as teamwork, discipline, how to handle failure, composure, competitive driving and responsibility. College is extremely expensive, and scholarships are a huge help in pushing students towards furthering their education. Cutting sports is cutting back on opportunities available to keep students in school. So to keep students active and safe sports, many different communities have come up with similar ideas or of having sports come out of their own pockets to let their children participate in sports. St. John's County has come up with a solution to save their sports program, which is a method referred to as pay to participate. $45 for a single sport, $80 for two sports, and $115 for year-round athletics. Governor Rick Scott proposed budget cuts and will only give Duval schools enough money to support the core courses, such as English, Math, and History, and Science. But after that, there is no more money. Do they cut arts and music, or do they cut down transportation? Do they cut all extracurricular activities? Right now, there is no other option. Chairman of the Duval County Board states that cuts are necessary to protect the core curriculum and preserve the accredi accreditation of our schools. Okay. So, of course, we want to protect the schools. But who is protecting the, the students? Parents of Duval want their kids to stay active and healthy, make friends, and stay out of trouble, trouble giving, going on to a happy, successful life with a college degree under their belts. 
Our team's going to be able to learn the lessons of life of teamwork, competitive, drive, discipline, anything sports related in a classroom? No. They are being robbed of their athletic drive and the drive for success and the drive for future. Coaches, athletes, and parents are attempting to make up the differences in budget cuts through funding efforts such as golf tournaments and ad sales in athletic programs. Attendance levels will be at a minimum without anything without anything attracting teens to want to attend. Without any class, class without any fun classes or events. Dropout rates will increase, drug and alcohol abuse will increase, and crime, crime rates will increase. But college attendance will greatly decrease. These young adults are supposed to be getting prepared to venture out into the future and continuing taking care of our country. How are they supposed to do that if they are not prepared for the harsh realities of the real world? Being given the proper materials by the school system with a mediocre education. Exactly. They can't. How would our country be as great as it is today if we had politicians with a media, mediocre education running the system? College tuition fees, the lives of teenagers and their parents, and the, and the continuation of our great country are being put on the line here. Budget cuts affect students now, but will go on to later affect the country as a whole. Who is going to teach the students maturity and discipline? If they have nothing to want to come to school for, how are teens supposed to learn to learn life lessons on handling failure, discipline, and responsibility? Athletics are an integral part of, of scholastics, being leadership labs for kids, a quality education system is all students, parent, parents, and community members ask for in a school system, and after budget cuts there will be nothing to show that they are learning anything. The dropout rates, crime rates, and any and any other many negative outcomes we all have to show. And what does that say about our school board? They don't care what happens to the lives of our future representatives. So what's at stake and how could this be possible how could this possibly affect you? Think about the kind of education our past presidents acquired. Now do you think that with the budget cuts going on in the Duval community, do you you really you would really want one of these less fortunate students running your community in the future? An unhealthy, ill-prepared adult that was never taught teamwork, discipline, responsibility, or any of the vital life lessons at an early age. Think about the education of young adults. Think about your country. Thank you.